Welcome back to Gaming Instincts TV and welcome to our Sea of Thieves guides. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Forsaken Shores that just recently launched earlier this week. So the Forsaken Shores has quite a few combinations to get, but they're not going to take that long with this guide. For the beginning, you will be discovering these different 15 islands. They're pretty easy to find, they're all on the map, they're not hidden, they're not uncharted or anything like that. All you have to do is just get on the island physically, with your foot, and once your foot becomes in contact with the island, you get the accommodation. Then you have to find these five hidden skeleton corpses, and each skeleton corpse is accommodation that gives you a couple of doubloons. And then you have to do five treasure voyages and five Order of Souls voyages to get your title and to unlock the ability to be able to buy the new Forsaken Ashes set which you can see right here. You can get the weapons and you can also get all the equipment, all the items and the clothing itself as well from the merchants in the outpost that's located in the Devil's Roar. The Devil's Roar is the new region's name. And also with this new update, they added the sea posts that are scattered across the entire map of Sea of Thieves. You can find them by basically looking on the map. They're marked on the map and they're basically like exactly what they sound like. Seaports, uh, you go in these ports uh, you can find some supplies and you find these merchants that actually give you discounted random items that you would normally find at a, at a full price in, in a regular merchant shop. So it's, it's pretty cool, you know, it's you never know what they're selling. Like, for example, the new Ocean Crawler set that's with the Forsaken Shores, I can, I can get now cheaper than I would just by going to the regular merchant, which is really nice. So I decided to buy it. So for the beginning, the first island we're going to go to is the Forsaken Brink. It's right above the Maros Peak Outpost. The Forsaken Brink has a skeleton that you can find for one of the accommodations. So we're, so we're gonna head straight there. And as you can see here, as soon as I land on the island, I get the accommodation for discovering it. So it's pretty easy. I don't really need a guide. You don't really need a guide for that. You just go to the islands and that's it. Doesn't mean as simple as that. And then you go over here and this is where the hidden skeleton corpse is. And you inspect them and you get an accommodation after you read the text and click close or, you know, select close or whatever. So there's that, and there's the accommodation, you get a couple of doubloons. So, you know, this update has uh, quite a few stuff to get, and then we're gonna come over to the outpost. This is where you can get all your new stuff. So again, you also get a combination for discovering the outpost, because it's considered to be an island. And as, as you guys can see here, you can go to the shops, and only these shops have the new items. You can get all the new sets, the Ocean Crawler, the Kraken set, and of course the Forsaken Asher set once you unlock that. You also can only get the Devil's Roar Voyages in Devil's Roar, like these ones are special. You have to complete five of these for the Golden Hoarders and you have to complete five of those for the Order of Souls to get your other stuff. So the next thing we're gonna go to is the Devil's Thirst. Be careful because Devil's Thirst is a really dangerous area. It erupts a lot and the volcanoes are pain ass. So this is where the other skeleton is. You guys can see the pathway here. Now I know it's not, I'm not giving you an exact direction because it depends what part of the island side you come from. But this should give you a general idea of where it is because it would be really hard to explain exactly where from what side to go to, right? So I'm showing you physically, from my point of view, where you can find this corpse. So basically you're going to go around these rocks and you're going to go up the hill here. And I think we actually had a Order of Souls uh, voyage here with a friend of mine. And we actually stumbled upon the skeleton by accident and we didn't have any guides for this. We did this all on our own. So it was a pretty cool experience, you know, discovering for your own. If you want to do that, I suggest you do because it's pretty cool. If you don't, if you just want to get the stuff out of the way, then just, you know, do as you please. So once you kill the skeleton here, uh, you're going to come over here and there's the corpse and you're going to get your accommodation. So, and of course you get an accommodation for landing on the island as well. The next skeleton is in Ruby's Fall. There's five skeletons. That was the first two. We're going to get the third one right now. So you go over here you know, come up to the island shore. And he's going to be under the bridge to the left here. Once we get behind the rocks, you can see a bridge here and he's right under that bridge. So it's pretty easy. It's, you know, whatever side you come from, just look for that bridge, go under it. And his corpse is literally right there. So it's pretty easy. And to your right is going to be like a little cave that you can go into to hide from the volcanoes. So, the next uh, area we're going to go to is the Flesher's Rest. It's a pretty big island. And as soon as you follow this way again, you get discovery for stepping on it. I don't know what the hell I was doing here. I think I was just looking around. Okay, so you follow this way. Go up this hill. And I think it's to the left over here. And he's right there on that rock. So there's that. And we have one more to find. He's going to be on Flintlocks Peninsula. So this one is the hardest one to find, actually. It took us quite a bit. 
he is really well hidden. He's like stuck between these two rocks. And in here we actually get in a little bit of trouble with the cannon gunpowder thing. And yeah, we managed to escape that. So this is where this dude is hidden. It's really, it was actually pretty hard to find him. He's stuck between these two rocks. Uh, pretty well hidden. I would, argue, I would argue to say that he's the hardest one to find. Uh, but, you know, but you know, Matt Main is pro, so he found them for me, and we just both got it. Yeah. And, of course, we get the discovery. So, once you get the discovery for all of the islands, I believe you will also get the title. Oh, I'm sorry, you get, you get a title for, I think, either discovering all the islands. Yes, you do, you get a cartographer title. And then once you get all the voyages for... The Order of Souls, you, you get a combination with, uh, I think, 15 doubloons, and then you also get another 15 doubloons for the treasures, and then you get your title, and then you get the ability to buy the Forsaken Ashes set, and that's it! You've completed week 1 to 2 Forsaken Shorts, guys. I hope this was really helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.